Hi, I am Karen St. Clair, and I'm an academic advisor here at Sheridan College, and I'm thrilled to be visiting with you through this video as we welcome you to the Sheridan College family. Within this short video, I would like to go through the components that make up the new student packet. And as a new student, you should receive either an electronic copy of these items, or if you visit with us in person, we will give you a copy of the new student packet in a folder. So the first item that I wanna to talk to you about is the helpful hints and reminders. This is basically a checklist of the information and tasks to help you keep organized of what you have to complete or what you've completed and what you still need to do as an incoming student. The next document is our self-service overview. This is a one-page document that helps you find self-service, which is within our my NWCCD portal. Self-service is a centrally or a central location of key links to help you stay in the know regarding your college career. Within the self-service, you've got your student finance where you can find your bill. You can find out how much you've been charged for your classes. You can pay online. You also have a link for financial aid to know where you're at in the process of financial aid. There is the link for the student planning and registration, and that's an important one. You'll find you'll be using that quite often as this is where you can go in and review your degree requirements. You can search for courses. You can plan your schedule. You can register for classes and you can print out unofficial transcripts um, all through the student planning. There's other links within self-service such as enrollment verification, tax information, banking information, graduation overview, and you can always check on your grades at any point. They will be there the entire time that you are a student at Sheridan College. So I mentioned within the student or the self-service that there's the student planning and registration. That's our next document is the reference guide for how to use student planning. And this document really helps when you wanna kind of stay in the know of what, where you're at with your educational progress. So after meeting with myself or one of the other advisors here at Sheridan College, this guide will be a nice reminder where and how to get into your student planning, to get your schedule, plan courses, see your progress, and register for classes. Our next document is our financial aid. Financial aid can be extremely daunting, but yet it is so very critical to helping you pay for college. This document will highlight how to apply for FAFSA, which currently is open to apply for the fall, spring 2021, 2022 school year. So if you haven't done that already, that should be a task that you get on as soon as possible. It also has information and links for scholarships, how to apply for the Hathaway Scholarship if you are a high school graduate or a, a graduate of a Wyoming high school. And it has other information for, regarding other funding sources and opportunities. The next two documents that I want to mention will be regarding now that you've registered for classes, how do you pay for them? So the, these two documents provide you information on how to pay for your bill, how to sign up for a payment plan if you'd like to do that, how to pay online. You know, it will have the information how to stay in touch and, and be working with the business office to take care of your bill. Many of you, will probably find that you would like to live on campus. And if that is you, that's our next document. This is how to apply for housing. So you'll find in this document, the details for applying for housing and how you go about selecting a roommate. The next document is all about, now that you've registered for classes, you need to get to know what textbooks you need for your classes. This document will walk you through how to find 
what textbooks you need, either through the bookstore website or through student planning. I find going through the website tends to be a little bit more accurate, but you've got both, both ways of doing it in this document. As part of a new student here at Sheridan College, we have an orientation. So in addition to attending SOAR, you will have an online orientation to complete as well. This includes the federally required Title IX training called Foundry. So if you do not complete all components of orientation by midterms, it will result in putting a hold on your account, preventing you from registering for the next semester until you complete that. So you really want to get on the orientation as soon as possible so that you can have that complete. Altogether, the online portion of orientation should take approximately five hours or so, gonna give or take, you know, how much time you really spend with it. So this is the document on the orientation requirements. Sheridan College wants all students to succeed. We want all students to succeed. And we have a variety of academic resources available to help you achieve success. The resources include our math center, the writing center, tutoring, veteran center for military veterans and their dependents, TRIO, advising, disability services, counseling and referral services. So all that information is on our next document. So this is our Sheridan College Academic Resources page, and it has information, contact information on all of those resources. As well in the back, it's got the information and contact information for disability services and counseling services. You will also find within the, the packet, you'll have some brochures. So we've got the TRIO brochure, we've got the disability services brochure, and we've got the counseling services and referral brochure. So you'll be able to get even more information besides just that one document. I know I'm filling you up with a lot of information, so bear with me because I still have some more to go. So the next document we have is the general education list. It highlights the approved advanced writing, business, basic math, math reasoning, the science and constitution requirements. It also lists the courses offered in the various categories for cultural studies. So as you're planning your classes, this is a great resource for identifying classes for the specific requirements of cultural studies or basic math or advanced writing. So you can, in, in one double-sided sheet, you can see all the options that you can choose from. In addition to everything that I've already kind of went through with you, there are several different resources that are in the packet as well. So in addition, we have a campus map. We have information on how to request transcripts. We've got information here for you to think about how your college experience is going to be very different than what you are used to in high school. So this is a good read to understand how college is, is a different um, experience for you. And then we also have information about the multi-factor authentication. This is a, a way that we really are working to keep all of you safe and secure from hackers and from you know the spamming um, in where they're sending out spam emails and such. That multi-factor authentication, if you are having any troubles with it, that document will help you set it up properly. And if you never need to, to go back in and, and update it in any way, that, that information is in that packet. So the last thing I want to talk about are some apps that you, we encourage you to download. And this includes, so that's, it's kind of 
comes in a little half sheet like this. And it includes four apps. There's the Canvas app, that's a digital classroom. This is where you can get your lessons, your assignments, you interact with your instructors, you submit your work through Canvas, you can possibly be taking your quizzes and your tests, and you can track your grades all through Canvas. This is for all classes, not just the classes that are online. The next app is what we call our MWCCD Alerts. This is our official safety alert app. This is also where they will alert if schools closed for bad weather or whatever it may be. So the, my NWCCD alerts app is a great one to have on your phone. Outlook, there's an Outlook lab app that allows you to get your Sheridan.edu emails directly on your phone so you don't have to continually log into the portal to retrieve your emails. It makes it a little easier for you to kind of stay in communication, stay in touch, get the emails on a um, more regular basis. And then the fourth app is the student, the Federal Student Aid app. And this allows you to complete your FAFSA through the mobile app. It allows you to also go in and, and get more inf information and to stay in touch regarding your federal aid um, through that app. So I know I have shared a lot of information today. Nice thing is that you can replay this video anytime you want. I will leave you with our phone number to call us. If you have any questions, we are here to help. So please call us at 307-675-0100. And once again, welcome to Sheridan College.